So we have one more video about rational functions. And I just want to talk about graphing rational functions. Your book doesn't talk about it that much. But once you understand limits and you know how to find vertical and horizontal asymptotes, it's a really small step to getting full graphs of these rational functions. And um, so you have done all of the hard work. And I want to make that connection for you guys graphically. So I have an example function, f of x is equal to x minus 5 over x plus 4. Now, we need to go ahead to graph. I need to find the vertical asymptote. or holes in the graph, find the horizontal asymptote, if it exists for the graph, find the x and y intercepts, and then we can get started on our graph. So this is a good place. Please pause the video please go back and practice those uh, these things that we have already learned how to do and then come back and we'll finish the graphing part of this together. So I will let you guys um, push pause please and come back. Okay, now that you're back and hopefully have done some heavy work, I want to go ahead and I will just list these. The vertical asymptote which I'll abbreviate VA, I got to be X is equal to negative 4, and under there I got the limits on either side as X goes from to negative 4 from the left is infinity, it's going up, and the limit as X approaches negative 4 from the right is minus infinity. Is that what you guys got? Okay, that's the behavior of the vertical asymptote. The horizontal asymptote, which I abbreviate HA, um, I got to be using the um, leading term test, Y is equal to 1. The x-intercept, uh, I got to be 5, 0, and the y-intercept, I got 0, negative 5 fourths, okay? So when I did those, that's what I got for these values. Okay, so then I want to go ahead and put that information on the graph. So I have this graph drawn. Let me get some grid lines so that I can make sure to stay kind of on them. The vertical asymptote I have is at negative 4. I'll draw that with these grid lines. And the horizontal asymptote I have is y is equal to 1, and I'll draw that in green as well, in a dotted green line. This is the line y is equal to 1, and this is the line x is equal to negative 4, right? Those are those special kinds of lines that we talked, horizontal and vertical lines, okay? Now, I have these points, and I also have the vertical asymptote behaviors, but I want to put these points in first. 5, 0, and negative 5 fourths, or 0, negative 5 fourths, which is on the y-axis right about down here, 1 and a fourth. Oops, it thinks I want to select it, but I don't. I just want to draw a little dot there, please. Okay, right there. Okay, and then I have this limit. The limit as x is going to 4 from the right is going down to negative infinity. So somehow down here I get this arrow and it comes up and I hit something like this. I go out here and then out towards infinity it gravitates towards this line y is equal to 1 and the line y is equal to 1 fences this thing in. Okay. Up here, I don't have very many points, so let me maybe just get a couple points. Maybe f of negative 6, f of, oops, f of maybe 8, negative 8, 
and f of negative 5. Let's see about that. Those three points, I'll plug them in and get values. Negative 6, I get 5.5. Negative 8, I get 3.25. And negative 5, I get 10. So negative 5 is way off my chart. I get 5.5 there. Um, negative 8 is 3.25, about right there. And then again, here, this should be going up towards infinity along this line. It's going to hit this point. It's going to hit this point. And out here, as it goes out towards infinity, it's going to shadow that line y is equal to 1. Okay? So just from this information that we got, we draw a pretty accurate graph. If you want to compare with the graph that you get on your calculator, this will be pretty good. And you also have a very good idea of what's actually going on in this problem. Okay? So let me know if you have questions about graphing rational functions. We'll do some more practice.